Welcome back everyone to Betson Group Live. This is a live video series where you can expect to hear from key people in the business speaking about their experiences and sharing their insights of working at Betson Group. Today, my guest uh, joining me is Kira Nick Liam, who is commercial director for gaming. Welcome. Hello, how are you? <laughs> it's great to have you here. Thank you very much for having me today. So today we're going to dive deep into your department and also get to know you a little bit better. Um, so let's get started, shall we? Um, what, what are you responsible responsible for at Betsin Group at the moment? So as the commercial director for gaming, my job in many ways is to tell the story about our gaming customers and our gaming business. So I partner with each of the commercial directors and the managing directors that we have across the whole business. And myself and my team, we sit with them. We use our customer knowledge, the insight, the data that we collect. We look at relative performance compared to our customers and across the whole market as well. What we try and do is make sure that each of those regions hit their targets mm -hmm. and that we provide the best customer experience possible. Great. So you explain, explain a little bit about what your team does as well. But what are some of the different roles and functions within the team? Yeah, so my team is split up into a number of different functions. The first one is about supplier relationship management and whether that's doing the different contracts, working with our suppliers to organize our QBRs, you know, breaking down the performance, making sure invoices are done, contracts, all of our due diligence is in place, looking at signing new providers and making sure that we can build exclusive games. So that's one of the functions that we do. The second one is all about content. So how we design, decide and deliver all of the games that we have at Betson. So across the whole group, we have more than 5,000 different games available to the different brands that we have at Betson. And what we might what we really like to do, you know, within those games is not only just make sure that any game a customer wants is available on the right websites, on the right brands, in the right markets, but also making sure that we're bringing in new and innovative content. And we don't just get the games from over 180 suppliers that we work with because we like to think we work with the best people in the whole industry. We actually design and build some of our own content as well, partnering with different studios. Um, so that's the second team. And whether it's technical issues, testing and configuring the games or building the roadmap. The team do a lot of work around that. Wow. And then the other team is our, our global gaming team and they work with some of our niche products like live casino, like poker, like bingo. Yeah. And they also work a lot on our performance. So looking at our reports, looking at our QBRs and making sure that we disseminate that data across the whole Betson group so people understand mm -hmm. where we sit with our business and can help facilitate making smarter decisions. Yeah. Great. So, so quite many responsibilities yes. then. <laughs> That's great. So now we know a little bit about what you do. Um, well, Malta is the headquarters. We have offices all around the world, but Malta is the headquarters. How did you end up in Malta? So I've had an absolutely fantastic career in the iGaming industry. So I've had a chance to work for some of the really big tier one operators across the whole piece, whether it's predominantly in the UK market or with that international footprint that we have at Betson. Um, and when I finished up my last role, I was looking for somewhere, you know, where I really bought into the vision that the management and the leadership team had, where there was scope to, to grow a team and really have an impact. And when I spoke to people like Ronnie, who's our CCO, or, or like Jesper, our CEO, it was really clear to me that Betson was somewhere that I could make a difference, that I would be listened to, that the values really matched with mine as well. So I think it was a really good company fit, but also a cultural fit um, and a role that I've, I've been really yeah. excited about. And even almost two years in now, I'm still excited every day when I go to work. So I think, you know, that that's definitely the sign of, of a good company. So yeah, I, I moved to Malta to, to work for Betson. I've been here for, for nearly two years now, but I really enjoy it. Yeah. No, that's great. What's your what's, what's your favorite thing about Malta so far? Uh, diving. Probably diving. the diving and the sunshine. I moved from Gibraltar, so the weather is is nice, you know, and, and it's sunny all the time. Definitely nicer than, than it was in Ireland growing up um, as a child. But I think, you know, when you look at things like water sports, I, I do a lot of sailing, I do a lot of diving, yeah. I, I do a lot of swimming. Um, and being able to do that, you know, is absolutely fantastic. Last year, I probably did over 100 dives during the whole year. So, you know, getting out and making sure you make the most of what Malta has to offer, that and probably the food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, so a dive master. Interesting. 
So Betson Group is a very diverse place to work at um, with people coming from all over the world. And we focus a lot on diversity and inclusion. We even have our own internal network, WIBE, Women in Betson. So Kira, how is it to be a woman working in iGaming these days, in your opinion? So I guess I'm probably really proud to be a, 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 in a senior position as a woman within the gaming industry. I think we've come a, a long way over the last few years and I know that consciously companies are going out now and making an effort to not only just between male and female, but just different nationalities and making sure that there is a great spread. And I think that is really celebrated at Betson. It's not just acknowledged and worked on, but celebrated. We hear stories about whether people are, you know, from different nationalities. And we know that, you know, when you bring different people together from different diverse backgrounds into a room that you get really strong ideas and great ideas. And I think that's really key. You know, it is important that women are represented in the industry, but it's also important that the competencies and the skills that you bring to the table are what valued. So you need to add a lot of value there. I actually won the Young Leader of the Year from the Women in Gaming group, you know, just two or three years ago. So, you know, it is really great to be celebrated as a female leader within the industry. And I think there is a responsibility to pass that on and make sure that, you know, we are mentoring more people. I've got quite a strong gender balance within my team. And I think that it's something we take really seriously. And, you know, Betson is a, a great place to do that. Yeah, for sure. I'm curious how your team cooperates with other parts of the, the company. We are one Betson, after all, we all work together. So how, how do you cooperate with other, other teams? Yeah, so the, the one Betson value, as, as we talk about it, and I think that is incredibly important and never as much so as, as in our team. So I run the central gaming team at Betson and we don't run our own PL, we don't run our own business, we don't have customers of our own. In many ways, the customers that we have are our regional teams, they are the other teams at Betson. So whether we are working with our team in LATAM or team in Sweden or our Italian business, Star Casino, then they are our customers and making sure that we deliver a great service to them is incredibly important. But we don't just get to work with commercial teams because no company and no group exists in an absolute silo. We need to work with people every day, whether it's finance, legal, compliance. We work with design teams and great marketeers who come with great brand propositions and ideas on, on how to push our products. We also work with all of our suppliers in the industry. So, you know, teamwork and collaboration is incredibly important and it's a, a definite behaviour that we look for within my team and, and for people who do really well, how they speak to others and how they get the job done is almost just as important as getting the tasks they've been assigned completed. Yeah, absolutely. And you're, you're heading up a, a big team. What do you enjoy the most about being a leader? I guess, you know, the iGaming industry has grown incredibly fast over the last few years and that means that people like me have had an incredible chance in their careers to grow and to learn and to develop a lot faster than you would in some of those more traditional industries. And what I really like is is actually getting to run my team and, and being a leader. So I love getting to sit with people, whether you're a coordinator or a manager, whether you're one of the heads of that report into me directly. I like talking to them about their career aspirations. I like listening to people if they have genuine fears like people who become managers for the first time and they want advice on how to settle in new people in their team or how to manage someone that might be older than them. Those are the kind of things I, I really like to do. So I like results. I'm incredibly numbers and data driven and I love hitting our targets. But I also like the softer side of working with a team and making sure people understand what good looks like, coaching them, developing them, and then championing them, them within the business as well. So, you know, my role at Betson is, is not to go out and talk about how much money I've made for gaming or how I've partnered with teams to, to deliver projects. It's to champion the people who work for me, make sure they're celebrated and recognized across the business. And I think Betson's a really great place for that. If you step up and you, you know, over deliver in your role or you're doing a great job at something, you absolutely get recognized. And my job as a leader of my team is to sit with people and make sure they understand the work and the value that the team is, is adding to, to their business. Yeah, great. What kind of roles are you currently recruiting for, Kira? I know that we're recruiting a lot these days. Yeah, so I guess for me, I, I've been at Betson for almost two years and we are constantly recruiting. So it's not specifically just about the roles. And obviously we share those on LinkedIn. We work with our recruiters and we're always reviewing CVs. But when we're hiring people, whether it's a coordinator, an entry-level position into the team to test and configure games or 
a senior manager or a global head of who helps work across the whole organisation. What we're looking for is passion and, and pace and somebody who's looking to make a difference across the, the whole organisation. So I would say it's not just about the roles within my team. We work with great casino managers in every regional team. We work with CRM coordinators and we work with people like product managers across the business. So my recommendation, if you want to see some of the best roles that we have out there, is actually to go out and check on the Bets and Careers website. Exactly. So guys, go on to our careers webpage if you want to read more about any of the roles that we currently have uh, open. So check that out. Kira, you mentioned before that your team chooses which games we offer on our site. How do we select these games? How does that process look like? Yeah, so I, I touched on it a little bit earlier, but our head of games at Betsin is incredibly knowledgeable. And we talked about the three tasks that they do within their team is to design, which is all of the games that we build ourselves with our partners, decide, which is essentially deciding what games go on the roadmap, and then deliver, which is configuring and testing those games for release. So on deciding it, you know, I touched on it a little bit earlier, but we have thousands of games. We launched a thousand games across our whole group and our platforms last year. We have over 180 suppliers, which makes us one of the most globally diverse casinos in the world because we make sure in each of the regions that we compete in, we're not looking to have the most amount of games, but we want to make sure in every region where we take bets or we have customers that the games they're looking for that perform in that region or that have the likelihood to perform are available to our customers. So when we decide on games, we want to make sure we take them from suppliers that we have strong relationships with, that we trust, that we know. It's incredibly important for me as the commercial director for gaming that I can personally say that all of our games are tested, they're certified and they're fair. You know, And I think there is a lot of customer perception out there in the industry about things, whether it's varying RTPs or you know, not, not necessarily getting your money back. And I can say that that's not the case. So we like to pick studios that we trust and, and that we know make great games. And then we like to pick games that offer something new to customers, whether it's innovative or it has a great brand but you know more than anything we're looking for high quality builds and great customer experiences you know when you have more than 5,000 games on your website you don't just need another copy of a game that performed quite well last year we want something that brings something new to the market and whether it's from a small studio that's up and coming or one of the industry giants that's out there we're always looking for the best content and we're always looking for new studios to partner with as well to help build some exclusive content because you know not only can we learn from your network, but when you have hundreds of thousands of customers coming every month to your websites, we have great internal data. We've got great market knowledge as well. And that's the kind of things that we like to share with our partners when we choose and, games. And how, how do we distinguish ourselves with our games, given that, you know, a lot of operators have similar games? Yeah, so I think it's not just about the product that you have. It's about how you present it to the customers on site. So a lot of what we do to distinguish ourselves is in the customer journey and in the user experience. Like I said, we have over 100 exclusive games on our websites up to at any one time. Mm. So we make sure that we have content that our customers can't find elsewhere. But we also like to make sure that the journeys are smooth, that, you know, your way to find the site. We look at constant touch points. And one of the things our product team are measured on is like login is time from logging into being able to launch the game that they want. Mm -hmm. So we look at things every week and we get a report of every failed search on our website, for example, and someone in my team personally goes through that. So we look at every customer who used the search button on our website trying to find a game. And if they were unable to find the game they were looking for, we try to understand, you know, why were they not able to find it? Were they searching with misspellings? And can we configure that to show the game they were looking for? And, and different pieces like that. So that's just a small example of, of the things that we're working on to, to really stand out and make sure that that journey for our customers is as seamless as possible. Yeah, thank you for that. And it seems like we're quite good at what we do. We, we did win a few awards uh, these, these last few years, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, aside from being an award-winning place to work at the casino side and when we look at gaming, you know, whether it was the Ask Gamblers Casino Operator Award in 2019 or some of the awards we brought back in EGR in Italy um, in those awards for Casino Operator of the Year or in-house innovation, then, you know, I think that's incredibly important. People want to work somewhere 
there where we are constantly pushing the boat out, where we're taking data yeah. and we're bringing great solutions to either new problems our customers didn't know they had or fixing existing friction points in the journey. So, you know, I yeah. think that that is important. And, you know, we have a lot to shout about as well. So yeah. that is good. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> What you would say is the key to a successful career within iGaming. Okay, yeah. all right. I mean, for me, I've touched on it briefly, but it is about your attitude, your passion, your willingness to learn. It is an incredibly fast-moving industry. And when I speak to people outside of the iGaming industry, they are often astounded at the variety of roles that we have on offer. I've been incredibly lucky in my career because I've had a broad touch on quite a lot of things, but I think it doesn't matter whether you're a generalist who understands different areas or you have a specialism, whether it's game testing or SEO or you work in finance or compliance, you know, to succeed in our industry, you need to work hard, you need to put in that extra mile, but you need to enjoy it as well. It is one of the craziest industries that I've, you know, <laughs> lucky to work in, I guess, um, you know, and, and, and that's it. I mean, I think if you work hard, but you have fun and you enjoy what you're doing, then that's how you succeed in an industry like ours. Yeah. So two years at Betson so far, what is the one thing, um, what, what is the best thing about working at Betson? <laughs> I think the best thing about working at Betson is, is the people. And I know that sounds cheesy and probably, you know, that you've asked me to say that, but <laughs> it's not true. I mean, when I started at Betson, we did our induction program and they told me it was the kind of place where in the morning in the elevator on the way to your desk, people genuinely stopped and said hello and wished you a good day. And I thought it was a little bit cheesy at the time, but they mean it. I mean, people at Betson genuinely, we talked about passion, we've mm -hmm. talked about fair play and we've talked about that one Betson approach. But for me, People want to work at Betson and they want to do well. And I think from the top down, people make time for each other. They prioritize group and global projects. And, you know, we know that in a company, especially in a central team like mine, unless we all come together, then we won't be able to achieve our goals. So, you know, for me, the best thing about working at Betson is the people, smart, hardworking people that I learn from every day. And I don't think it matters how long you've been in a role or an industry, but when you work with great people who want to work with you, that makes all the difference. Yeah. So one Betson for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for, for this, uh, Kira. I want to end the episode with a few fire questions. So I'm going to okay. fire them at you and you can choose one of these options and you have to answer as quick as you can. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yes, <laughs> ready. Okay. Morning or night? Night. Casino or sports book? Casino. The first country you want to travel to after COVID-19? Oh, Tel Aviv probably. Israel. Nice. nice. Dog or cat? Cat. <laughs> window seat or aisle seat on the airplane? Definitely aisle. <laughs> Eating out or takeaway? Eating out. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Kira. It was great to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So guys, that's uh, us wrapping up this episode of Betson Group Live. If you want to find out more about the next episode, tune in on LinkedIn. Uh, you can check it out under the events tab on our page. And as we said today, if you're out there looking for new opportunities, um, check out our careers page where we have a lot of open vacancies at the moment. So check that out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.